hi guys i hope you're all doing well uh, i'm going to start off the vlog today because harlow is at school and i just thought we would show you what we get up to on a school night not every night we probably we probably do this once or twice a week so our yard doesn't actually have uh floodlights or like lights in the arena so the time that harlow finishes school at 4 15 and we drive to the yard and get the ponies tacked up and everything. But because the clocks have changed, it's just not good. So we have to go to other arenas, indoor arenas uh, or arenas with really good uh, floodlights. So Harlow can ride in the week after school. It's no big issue for us. And actually, it's quite nice to get the ponies out out and about and to go to different arenas and to do jumping and stuff. Uh, so it's no problem. And yeah, so I'm going to show you what we do um, on a school night today. So yeah, Harlow is not here yet. She's at school. I'm going to get the ponies ready. Right, so uh, first of all, I'm going to go and get Rolo because I seen him yesterday. Oh, I totally forgot to say as well. Um, so we've been in Dubai for nearly two weeks, I think it was. And um, I lunged popcorn yesterday and he was so so fresh so I'm gonna pop some clips in um, and I sent them to Harlow because Harlow's been in Ireland um, at Homestead Saddlery um, so she's been over there and for two days she went with my mum and I stayed behind and I was with the ponies all weekend had so much to sort out and so much work to do and um Yep, I, I sent her a video of popcorn. I was like, he is very fresh. And she was like, bring it on, popcorn. Yeah, so all the ponies need to be worked. We're going to take three ponies out today. So it's going to be busy. And it's just me and Harlow that just juggle all of this. So, um, yeah, it would be easier if I had some help. But we will manage it just fine. Um, so, yeah, right, let's go and get Rolo. Oh, this is what I was saying. I'm going to go get Rolo because I seen him yesterday and he is absolutely covered in mud. Covered. He looks feral at the moment. So you just have to excuse the state of this pony. Yeah, so as we're going out, I also need to pack up the horse box. Um, all the ponies are out. They're all behind me here. Um, we're taking three ponies out because they all need to be ridden. I can't leave any of them behind. Obviously, Cloudy's getting left behind because... Oh, I forgot the hair collar. Um, Cloudy's getting left behind because Harlow doesn't ride him. Um, but I, he gets lunged all the time and he goes out on hacks with Panda all the time. So he's in plenty of work because he's on a bit of a, like, um, a fitness regime at the moment to try and lose some weight. Bless him. Um, right, so let me just get Rolo's head collar. I don't know about you, but I don't, I don't know why all of our head collars have a lead rope change. Uh, it just happens. I don't know why, but they're all, um, they all end up being with the wrong lead rope. I don't know if that happens to your head collars. Let me show you these boys. So we've got Panda here. I took his tail bag out yesterday because I wanted to give it a little bit of a breather. So, but he has got a platen still. Hello, beautiful. And he needs a freshen up, freshen up later because the other day, oh, hi, baby. He decided to lay in poo and you can see his cheek. And it actually ended up all in his ear and in his eye. Actually in the eye. There's Popcorn. He's had a fresh clip and he's very clean. He's always clean, bless him. He might need a main wash. He needs a main trim, actually. I don't know if I'm going to get time for that today. Um, it's actually a full-time job trying to make these ponies look half decent and presentable. So Rolo's just going to look at me and not bother to come over. Such a lovely view from up here. So if you're wondering why Cloudy has not got a rug on, it's because he is so, so, so fluffy, despite having a clip, I don't know how long ago it was, but um, yeah, and also it's quite good for losing weight. It's not actually that cold either. So he's fine and it helps him just burn up some calories. Um, he has a wrong rug on at night and he comes in at night, so. This is our Hoy's show pony. Look at the state of this pony. 
Rolo, what have you been doing, darling? You enjoyed this holiday a bit too much. Look at that mud. Look, he's actually filthy. Look at this rug. This pony is just a total toddler. Aren't you? It's like, are you talking about me? I'm gorgeous. You are gorgeous, but you didn't have to get this filthy. Yeah, so we actually got asked this question loads when we did um, a Q&A. People asked, how do we juggle school and ponies and all of that? So yeah, this is how we do it, basically. Um, it's not possible for, for to me to come and do this once I've got Harlow, because it just takes up too much time. So I just have to get them all ready and go and meet her with the ponies nearer to school. Um, so yeah, because Harlow School isn't right near the yard, so it's like just not possible. In the summer, it's definitely possible because we've got lots of daylight, but not in um, the winter. So yeah, this is just what we need to do for the winter to keep them all ticking over, to keep them all busy and exercised. So Rolo's qualified for London. Um, oh my God, Rolo! What on earth are you playing at, babes? Oh, look at the air, air collar now. Oh my gosh. Body protector tonight, guys, that's for sure. Um, oh my gosh. Spicy boy. So I actually forgot what I was saying then. Um, oh yeah, so because he's going, he's qualified for London, Rolo, let's, let's just get in the stable side. Um, because he's qualified for London, he has to have, his clip needs to be like on point and that's like the week before Christmas. So it's all time to perfection that he has to have the clip at the right time so it grows out enough for the show. Um, so we, that's why we can't clip him again. So he's very fluffy, but it's getting done next week. So um, yeah, just got a kind of wait really. There's nothing we can do about it. And really, he's only got to be ridden. Um, he's been ridden three times this week, so it's not the end of the world. But that's why I've got to get up here quite early and bath him because his coat is going to take ages to dry because he's so hairy. Rolo's also put on a bit of weight since he's had his two weeks off, which is a good thing because he's quite a slim Dartmoor anyway. Um, so, yeah, he definitely enjoyed his holiday of just getting filthy and chubby bless him um, but yeah he's had such a busy year he probably would have had a bit longer off to be honest if he didn't qualify for London um, but yeah we're going to get him back into it because Harlow wants to do the workers with him next year oh he's going to be well itchy now he's always itchy when you take up over his rug oh he's quite sweaty oh, this is what I mean we need to get this clip this clip done um, and his mane is really dry. <laughs> oh, now he's having a poo. They always do this. Whenever they get in the wash bay, they just need to have a poo. This is what I'm working with. This coat is so thick. So he's going to have a nice mane wash. I'm not going to wash the whole body like all his bum and everything. I'm probably just going to go over this bit because that looks like a little bit not very nice. And um, yeah, mainly the mane and the neck and the legs. Face not too bad. Face looks all right. He literally looks like a bear, a fluffy bear. So yeah, I cannot wait to get him clipped, but we've got to wait. i wait one more week. So lots of conditioner. Because we've been away for two weeks I just need to freshen them up really normally I'd probably just groom them unless they are just covered in mud um, then I always just wash it off because it's just easier than brushing it all out even with just water most of the time it just comes off with water so I'll leave that now <laughs> so I've just popped on Rolo's dry rug and then this well I'm instantly regretting it but this is his show rug and he's just rolled in it. So now we've got shavings 
all in this, but once it's dry, to be fair, it will just, um, they'll just brush off. Uh, but there, this is what I'm dealing with. He's so cheeky, aren't you, darling? <laughs> Give me the tongue. There, you're so funny, Rolo. <laughs> oh, he's hilarious. So this is our lovely steamer. And yeah, I think it has been on, so. Yep, oh, can you see all that steam coming out? Oh, this smells amazing. And we've got granddaddy building cloudy stable. So all, got, all we've got to do is, um, well, all he's got to do is put the door on now and it's going to be so nice and low for him so he can see over, which is going to be lovely. The mats are in already. And yeah, we've got this that we're going to hang rugs up on here. And then there's going to be a rug rail going here so we can hang rugs up. We're going to put some storage boxes around here. And then on this side... Uh, we've got all, this is actually a hat stand, so you hang the hat up here. We've got some head collars here, and then also this saddle stand, which is going to be good for like tacking up and that. Um, but yeah, that's what we've been up to for the last couple of days. I've been helping. I'm going to put the door on here now. Oh, it's going to be so cute. So this is going to be Cloudy's very own stable. So because we're taking three ponies out today, um, we're taking the trailer, um, and Grandad actually put this up for us yesterday, which is like we can hang up more head collars, bridles and stuff, which is really helpful when you're taking three ponies out and just to hang general stuff up there. And... Yeah, because when we take them out to shows and then most of the time they've got two bridles each. So, yeah, it's just really helpful that we've got more storage space, really. And then we also got this uh, put up. So, you know, that uh, whip holder we ordered on Timu. Um, yeah, we've got this up here. So, yeah, that's really nice as well. Oh, and then another little one down here. because I just thought it was really handy just to have <laughs> loads of places to hang things up. You can't actually hang anything up from here because this is fiberglass but well, this is what my dad said so um yeah but now i know, need to go and get their tack so and choose what color saddle pads and everything they're going to be wearing today i did have a little chat with harla this morning to say what uh, saddle pad do you want to be wearing and we decided that she's going to go for the brown so yeah that's what she's going to wear today i think because it's like arena eventing at the place we're going I think we're going to go for the jump saddle so she can wear um, this brown set. He's worn this loads before, but it's um, I think it's the Puissance collection by Lemieux. And it's lovely. So I think he's going to wear that and then got to find something for popcorn. And Rolo has got, he'll go in his worker saddle today. And then he's got like this little brown plain one. So I spent the weekend organising and... Yeah, I've got everything all in good order now. So yeah, this is Panda's, well, some of his pads. Got competition navy pads there. Got the ponies boots, brushing boots, all the colorful ones, um, Rolos, and then some like fluffy ones in here. Um, yeah, I've got, oh, here's all the hangers. I'll just move them out of the way. Uh, Cross-country boots for popcorn and panda. Um, yeah, just loads of boots, really. But I have got these new ones, which they've never worn yet. Um, I don't know if they're any good for... Um, are they ideal for turnout, schooling or competition? Lightweight and protective. I think I put popcorn in these ones and then panda in his ones. And then rolo has got some little brushing boots. It's really hard to find tiny little boots for tiny little ponies. So, yeah, he just got brushing boots. Uh, nothing 
really technical. This time of year is literally a nightmare for keeping them clean. So he needs a little freshen up now. Look at the hair. Oh, darling. Got to get you all presentable for Harlow. I haven't seen them. She hasn't seen them. I've been spent the weekend with them because I was here, but as she was in Ireland, she hasn't seen them yet since um, we've got back from Dubai. So she's so excited, bless her. Oh, my God, he got a massive poo stain on his bum. Huge. All here. So I really need Panda to be dried the time that we get there. So I'm not going to get all the body wet. I'm just going to wash off the muddy patches, which he loves to make. I don't even know how this is even possible. He's had a massive rug on covering him up. He just loves to find the poo and the mud. So yeah, I think that Harlow will ride Panda first because um, he'll go on the trailer first. Oh, that's Rolo winning in. Um, and then I'm trying to think who she'll ride next based on the positions in the trailer. Oh, you're a very good boy. He's a good boy, Panda. Oh, and the other side. Of course she got it on both sides. I've had to go get a stool and my sponge because Panda's too tall. Oh, he's just done a massive poo whilst I was away. Um, and these poo stains are just not budging. So, um, like I told you, they just poo. As soon as you put them in the wash bay, they've got to have a poo. They just can't help themselves. One more pony to go, so I'm just getting popcorn in now. He should be, fingers crossed, the cleanest. Bless him, he's usually pretty immaculate. And fingers crossed, because I just don't want to bath. We wouldn't do this every time, but they were just like exceptionally filthy. And it just gives me like a bit of the ick if we've got like, especially because we're filming, um, that they're just going around. They're just like mud monsters, so. Um, yeah, they just have a little bit of a tidy up. Panda's not his cleanest, but I did what I could. Hello, popcorn. You're always clean, aren't you, darling? Yeah, it's got a bit of mud in the mane, but nothing much. Tail's pretty clean. His hocks are the only thing that look dirty, actually. The socks are pretty white. Yeah, he's got a clean face. Oh, you good boy, aren't you, darling? All of their saddle pads, tack, bridle, boots, everything's out ready. So I'm going to tack them up to travel. And we don't normally do that, but because I'm on my own, I'm just going to have their saddles on so that, and with a rug over the top of them um, to keep them warm, just so that when I arrive, they're like ready. And then we've got the arena for two hours. So then I have it, not wasting time, like tacking up in between and everything, all we've got to do is untack, swap pony, put the other pony away. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So they're gonna travel in their saddles just so the saddles is just done. Which we don't normally do, but we're gonna do today. And I think this is gonna be a lifesaver. Right, so Panda is first one to go in. He's got his saddle on underneath here. He's got his rug and exercise sheet on. So yeah, I didn't bother putting Rolo's saddle on because he's such a fidget. 
So I've just done popcorns and pandas. That's a good boy. So panda's gonna be the first one to be ridden, because he's the easiest one to get off. And then it will be Rolo, because he's on the end. And then we can put panda back in that position. And then it'll be popcorn, because popcorn travels in the middle. So, we've got a bit of a system going because we need to be able to get them back, we need to get them in and out basically. Popcorn's hain it. All right guys, I've arrived. It's pretty chilly. Panda's all tacked up, thanks to mum. Thank you very much, mummy. Um, I've gotten changed. I had a good day at school today. My science teacher and my geography teacher forgot to set homework, so it's an amazing day. But just gonna put his cross country boots on keep them leggies protected. We've got the boys in the back. They've got a nice little view so they can watch their brother because as some of you know, um, Popcorn and Rolo both have, um, they've both got um, FOMO. So it's fear of missing out. They love to be doing everything really. Boys, no arguing please. Panda looks very warm under there. Can you put your body protector on? No. I've got it in the back. Oh, have you? Okay. Yeah. Popcorn's going to be spicy. Yep. Oh, that tail is so clean. Has it been like in a tail bag every day? Yeah. We've got two hours of riding. I've got to ride three ponies. I'm going to give them all a flat work session. Then I'm going to jump them all. Right. I've got to go get my body protector on. Should I put it on under my coat? Yeah. Good. Relax. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Steady. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. We got over it, that's the main thing. We may have took a, a flag out in the process, but we got over it. Good boy. Outside leg, outside leg, outside leg. Good boy. Oh, 
That was good, wasn't it? Did he jump? He, he went through it, didn't he? Yeah, I heard it. I'm going to do this little flower one now. This is the one I fell off with, uh, with popcorn, so hopefully I don't fall off with pan last time. I don't want to jinx it. You're going to be a good boy. You're going to be a good boy, aren't you? Oh, that's good. Good boy. Right, well, let's do this one now. Sit up. Good boy. Do you reckon we can get round here? Good boy. Three in a row. He kept on wanting to go over this one, but might be a bit big for today. Good boy. Good boy. on fire. Gonna have a little breather and then what shall we do? I'm very, I want to do this one but I don't know if it's a little bit big. Might be a bit big. And it's a solid fence as well isn't it? Quite big. He could do it but yeah. One over there behind you, the round one. Yeah, we could do that. Let's do it with the bar on, yeah? Yeah. What about this one? Yeah, that's fine. Let's do it with ice. Yeah. So it looks fine. We'll have a go. Good boy. Cross country mode. Right, and then this was the fence. Sit back, sit back, sit back, sit back. One, two, three. Give him a little walk breather. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I think I will have a go at that, you know. Give him a breather first. Definitely. I may even go a little bit faster into some of those. It looks better, doesn't it? Yeah. Why has he got his tail up? He's feeling Arabian y. Maybe not. No, side eye. I've never jumped like those fences when I've been here before, and he's cleared them straight away. Good boy. First time, isn't it? Yep. I wonder what popcorn's gonna be like. I reckon he'll be a good boy. You reckon? Yeah. I reckon he's gonna be bronking. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it. There'll be at least a couple Bronx. Not to spoil it for you guys, but... Right, I'm going to start looking at that jump because it looks smaller from further away, so... Riding forward, look straight ahead. Riding forward, look straight ahead. Yeah. He'll either chip in or leap. So I just need to be ready. Hunt. I need to be like jockey, like huntsman style. Ready for Eva. Yeah. I need to be ready for either. Like dipping 
or dip over. So I just need to be like ready to give like as soon as we go really. But yeah, not overthink it too much because yeah. Well that is basically the same height as that. That's smaller. Yeah. So yeah, it's easy. Good boy! Good boy! That was easy! Alright, we'll do it again. Good boy! Such a good boy! He's amazing! He literally jumped it like no problem. The bigger the scarier the better. The bigger the bolder. He does. Should we do that one now? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, and then we'll end it off there. Ready? Three, two, one. Good boy. Right, and then, and then this one. Good boy. That was amazing. Good boy. Right, it's time to get popcorn ready. Is it popcorn or Rolo? Rolo. It's time to get Rolo ready now. I'm going to do mainly flat work with Rolo and then chuck in some jumps at the end. Um, just so he doesn't, he doesn't feel like he's left out. But yeah, very good boy. And then last but not least, we've got the main man. We've got the popcorn, the OG. I could not have been happy with that. That was absolutely amazing. He was so well behaved. We may have not got to jump this, but... Oh, that's too big. We're never going to be able to jump that. Wait, it's too wide. It's a bit too... It's not the wideness, it's just the height, I think. That Rolo. What? Cool. Cool. Rolo's feeling very excited. He's had a couple weeks off and he's seeing the jumps. And he's going a bit crazy, but he's, he's being a very good boy. He's staying kind of calm. Um, Rolo's trot is a little bit choppy, a little bit tense. So I'm just going to keep him trotting around until he relaxes a little bit. And then I'll give with my body a little bit, like with my reins. He's not like going to bomb off or anything. He's just a little bit tense that he's away from Popcorn and Panda. <laughs> Good boy. 
Just relax, yeah? Good boy. Good. Good boy. Steady. Good. So he's relaxing a bit now. I'm just giving with my rain, telling me he's a good boy. Ooh. And then there was a bit of a change in the trot. He went from quite like a nice, free moving, relaxed trot to a bit more of a tense trot. And that's just because he keeps on looking up there. And he's like, no, my friends, my brothers. Oh no. But once he's jumping, I'm sure he'll forget about them being up there. Good boy. Good boy. There you go. Count is a little bit tense, but Pokemon did just sneeze, so. So he's probably out them and be like, oh no, now I'm reminded that I'm away from my brothers. <coughs> Pokemon and Panda, could you be a little bit quieter, please, babe? Just. Please. I'm a little bit excited and I need all the help I can get here, darling. Good boy. So then he relaxes and I'm just going to give him the rain. Good boy. Nice. <coughs> Steady. I'm going to go over that cross in a second. I'm just going to wait for this car to go past because it's a little bit distracting for Babes. Rele. By Rele, darling. And it's gone right. I'm just going to ride it. It's like a normal day. Good boy. Steady. I feel like he jumped out a bit weird. Yeah. Right, we're not going to stop by mum. Good. Steady. Steady. Good boy. He keeps on like half bucking. Can you not? It feels like after the jumps he's just... <sighs> Good boy. Right, round again. Then everything just got a bit exciting. The buck needed to come out. So I felt it after the jump, so he like, kept on going to buck, but then he was like, oh no, I can't, I can't. But then he was like, right, I gotta get it out. Good boy. Oh, it was lovely, very low. I've made a little, little knot. Oh no, we're not jumping that, babe. So especially not from a standstill. You will need a little trampoline in front of that to get over that. No, but sorry, lady. I think your legs are a little bit short. Just let him in, have a little breather. He's so sweaty already because he's got such a furry coat. We did clip him before Hoy's, but we only gave him like, um, like a half coat. So he still had a bit of his summer coat on, but it's just grown out completely now. And he needs another clip, so. We're going to go left, so steady. Good boy. I'm going to do the water tray now, and I don't know if he's ever seen a water tray. I think he has, but not for a while. Nice and straight. Look up. Ooh. Just look at it. Look at it. Good boy. Just look at it. 
No, don't, don't, don't drink from it. It's a bit dirty. All right, come around again. He's seen it now. He knows the water's there, so... Steady. Oh my god, was that really big? Was that ridiculous? Huh? The back end was like... Was it actually? Was, was it just like a little tight little like furball? <laughs> tight little brown fluff ball. It's in the air. springing in the air. Good boy. Do it again? Right. Please don't overjump it this time again. I mean, if you go over it, I don't really mind, but... I felt like I was going to Mars. I was like, oh no. Right. Steady. Oh my God. I'm not going to do loads and loads and loads of jumping with him. I'm just going to do a couple more jumps. Um, and then I'm going to go get popcorn. Popcorn's all ready and raring to go. He hasn't bronched yet, but I'm being very careful. Right, I'm gonna, I've been trying for about five minutes now, a little bit on each range, so I'm gonna have a canter. Oh no, he's heard the word canter. Oh, 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 oh my God. Calm down, babe. Calm down. Whoa. Oh my god. Ooh. He's doing his weird canter. Oh, the Bronx just waiting. It's, it's waiting to be released, but. He doesn't know what the right time is yet. I'll have to figure it out. Help me on. Sheepy little boy. Stupid little zingies. Oh, mum, he's got no boots on. Shall we go? Alright, we'll take out a little bit too much to see Popcorn is doing so good, he's been a very good boy. He's keeping his Bronx in. For now. Wowzers. 
I didn't even touch you, Popcorn. Good boy. Good boy. Jump through it, yeah? Go, go, go! Good boy, you're very close. Can you just jump through it, yeah? Just come on, can you do it? Come on, come on! Come on! Oh, we're getting closer and closer every single time. No. Not on the edge of yet. Right. Do you need a pose? Is that what it is? You can do it, yeah? You can do it. Go, 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 go! Go! We almost went through it that time. No, 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 you can't itch on it. No, 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 no. You're meant to jump it, darling, not itch it, all right? Okay? <laughs> I don't know if he's going to get over it. Come <laughs> we almost have that time. I think he's a bit scared. We're just going to lower it. We just lowered it a bit, so... Good boy! He's just a bit of a height thing. That's all. Good boy. You know, at least you take your own eyeball out there, Popcorn. Right, this one we can't lower, okay? It's not always fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just look at it. Let's just look at it. Yeah? He tries to do the skinny, ain't happening. Popcorn's picking and choosing his jumps. I wish to keep persevering, guys, but our time in the arena it's running out, so we've got to go, go, go. There's a little one over there, Pong, I've never jumped it before, and we, I was going to jump it last time, but as it said, fell off, but I'm going to do it this time. Oh, wow. Good boy. Come on, come on. Oh my God, Pong, you're about five miles away there, babes. That took you by surprise a bit, didn't it? Our brave pants aren't on today. Good boy! There we go. We got over it. Good boy. You've jumped a house before, babe. So here's what we've accomplished. We've accomplished getting over the little ditchy thing there. We've accomplished getting over this. And we went over the jump that I fell off at last time straight away. So we're, good. we're doing good. You've seen a house about 15 times. It's a house. We can do it, all right? Carry it on. Good boy. I think Pongo's gonna have a spooky do this. But we're gonna give a positive mindset right forwardly, and we can do it. <laughs> All right, we cleared it, guys. We just had a pole down. Like step 
think the blue thing. I'm gonna finish it off with a little course, try and do everything that we've done, but yeah, then we'll finish it there. He loves that. Once he's got his confidence in everything, he's on fire. Like, I reckon if we came here in about a week's time, he'll jump everything because, was it about six months ago we came here? Last year. Last year we came here and we jumped that like silly flower thing. Oh. Yeah. Last year, I, we came here and he had like, he had a refusal at that flower thing and I fell off. And that was last year and he's remembering it and he's, remembering it? He's remembered it and He's jumped both of them straight away now, and he's actually jumped... Yeah, it was a small one he had a refusal. I think he jumped the bigger one this time. But, yeah. Oh, boy. They're all done. I'm very sweaty, but cold at the same time. We've got three ponies exercised. It has been a very good after-school session. I think you'd say the same popcorn and panda and Rolo too. My granddad's going to come in about 10 minutes. We're going to put all the ponies in the trailer. I'm going to help my mum and then my mum's going to drive back to the yard and then she'll put them all to bed, get them hay water. Well, they've got hay and water already, but she'll just put them in their stables and get their rugs on and then they'll go to bed. I think if they had their dinner, so that their dinner will be waiting in their stables, won't they? We won't film putting them away because it is literally pitch black up there, but we can't see anything. With popcorn, I always like to... Even if it's like a week before we do a show jumping competition, I always like to put the jumps out at the yard, put all the spooky ones out so he has a look at everything because if he hasn't jumped in a while on the Ghost of Show Jumping competition, it all goes to pot. Everything kind of falls apart and um, it all goes a bit wrong, doesn't it? Popcorn does love a little dirty stop, little stop last minute, but yeah. I think there might be a new PB for Panda getting over that jump and a new PB for Rolo over jumping. And um, new PB for Popcorn refusing so many times. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you soon. Bye.